What's up guys? As I've recorded this, we are just two days and two hours away from Team of the Season starting this year. I'm really excited for it and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, and let's get straight into rating some teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Quick Discord plug. We are at 2,400 members, which is absolutely insane. If you guys want to join the Discord, link in the description as always. Uh, the Discord essentially uh, will let you guys know when I'm recording, as you guys saw here, or see here, sorry. Uh, recording our 8 teams in 10 minutes has been about 10-15 uh, minutes since tweet. Uh, since putting that message in so a lot of the people that are in the discord will have a much better chance of getting into the uh into the into the episodes but we're also uh we have different teams uh being posted in the discord all the time um by a lot of different people for example uh day dz jed mary who says uh, this is my team 43 in game uh if discord wants to load it up real quick <laughs> bad example because that media is not supported for some reason um i don't know what the type of Screenshot that was a terrible example. Uh, like this one, for example. Um, like it's just it's really nice to to have different teams to rate in there. You know, you can you can say that you like them, you can say you dislike them, uh, and then of course in the responses you can actually respond to people and their teams and stuff like that. Um, there's loads of different tabs. Tells you when I'm live all the time. Tells you when new videos go live all the time. Recommend joining it, basically is what I'm trying to say. I recommend joining it. All right. I I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Um, aggressive uh promo of my Discord out of the way now. Let's get into some teams. Starting off with Callum's team says, Hey Haber, I have 180,000 coins to spend. The whole team is untradeable, and I play a 4-2-3 one in game. Love the vids, bro. Keep the good work. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate, it, dude. Uh, so you play a 4 2 in game. I'm guessing Bakioko and Freddy CDMs and then the rest of your uh, your strike force. Now, let me double check how many coins you got. Two, 180,000 coins to spend. There is one player right here that, that screams out at me, and that's obviously Ben Yedder would be a big, uh, a, a, you know, a big positive to your team here um, for Oshman. Now, how much is Mbappe sitting at these days? Because I'm pretty sure Mbappe's dropped a lot recently. Like, he's just his normal card. Um, he's, what, 400k now? Honestly, in a couple of weeks' time, or maybe like three weeks' time with, with some luckier rewards, you won't be far away from it reaching an Mbappe at right striker. And in my opinion, that's the best way forward for this team, is getting an Mbappe over there at striker. Uh, obviously, you've got this card over here at Untradeable, this Douglas Costa. Um... Team is season around the corner. We could get an Aaron Wan-Bissaka. You could start saving up to try and get that sort of uh, right back, you know, in the team. Um, we're likely going to get maybe like a Joe Gomez or something like that. You could get lucky in a pack or you could, uh, you could save up towards getting him. Um, with a team like this, a lot of improvements are needed. And I think that with Team of the Season right around the corner, we're going to get a lot of cards, especially a lot of high-rated cards. That will be pretty cheap and will be big improvements to the team as well. Um, obviously, we'll have expensive cards, but I think that, you know, there the, is going to be a lot of cheaper cards as well you can bring into this team. So just keep your eyes out for some really good team of the season cards to uh, add into your team. Uh, the next team coming from Connor, who says, hey, man, second photos in game. Had to put Keen in because I needed five. Uh, cause, sorry, because I needed a DM. I started reading the bottom line. Because I needed a DM for a weekend league. Uh, Road to Glory accounts are quite happy with it. I have 5.5 million coins on a Road to Glory. Uh, and everyone's untradeable. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, well, having 5.5 mil liquid on a rogue glory is absolutely insane. Um, same thing applies, to be honest. We are, team of the season's around the corner. We are, you know, very close to getting team of the season. Um, you're going to have some incredible improvements to make to this side during team of the season, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Um, so what I would do is, I would hold on to that. Um, I like what you're doing over there on the right side with Ramos. It doesn't work with the rest of your squad because you go in sort of a Prem League gun theme. So, it, like, if you're trying to make improvements, it, it kind of gets to the point where you can't touch that right side, which is really disappointing. I would say, um, you know, priorities have got to be, is Ramos incredible for you or not? And if he is, you've got to work around him. And if he's not, you've got to work around somebody else. You know, Joe Gomez's team of the season could go in there and Hector Bellerin over there at right back. Um, it's just one option you could go with. In terms of your right CDM, uh, you could also go with maybe like a prime moments Guardiola to get the strong link to uh, Ramos. And you can go with a different right centre back, for example. Um, you could use any icon anyway and just keep the setup how it is. But the team is solid. Um, very nice team. Like I said, like it's going to be the same for a lot of people. Team of the season is just a couple days away. Like Sunday's episode is going to be filled with upgrades that you can make via team of the season, with predictions, with that sort of stuff. So, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible team, and uh, and we're just preparing for team of the season. To be honest, we're just we're literally just preparing for team of the season. 
um, and when that comes around. I find it interesting that you're using a talent striker, though. This is one thing I am finding interesting. With 5.5 .5 mil, I'm pretty sure you can afford this card. Yeah, you can. Like, if you want to have a bit of fun, it, you might lose some coins. I'm not going to lie to you. You might lose a bit of coinage. Uh, maybe on tax, maybe he goes down. But with 5.5 .5 mil, if you want to have a little bit of fun at that left striker spot, this card is absolutely unbelievable. I have personally used this card myself um, during Team of the Year. It like it's it's just unbelievable. You, like you can't comprehend how good this card is until you use it. Um, so you know if you want to have a little bit of fun, maybe that's a, a play you go with in the meantime. But like I said, Team of the Season, just be patient uh, because I think that you'll 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 find your coins go into four or five incredible players during Team of the Season and make your squad end game like that you know what i mean anyway the next one comes from Braddos, who says uh got 430k to play with uh this is what i play in game uh gattuso arnold and sanchez are untradeable keep up the good vids man thank you very much dude uh let's have a look okay so i don't know why it doesn't show the bench for some reason that's a bit of a glitch um you guys can't really see it but it's pretty easy to guess it's van dyke right center back allison and goal uh, alexander arnold right back hmm not a fan of lozano personally if I were you, I'd try and go for that Politano. It literally, like, to get the 87 one, it takes, like, four games if you're lucky, or five games. Message people before the game. Ask them to help you out. Uh, I'm sure if you actually give them a win, then they'll help you out. Uh, there's a lot of nice people. I know there's a lot of horrible people online, but there's not nice people that'll help you out as well. Lozano, for me, I've played against him an awful lot. I've used him. He's just bad, man. He's just a bad card. I really didn't like him at all. His shooting's awful. He doesn't feel that fast. He doesn't feel very strong. Uh, and he feels a bit clunky on the ball. Uh, regarding the rest of the team, you could upgrade your Firmino. Um, you could go with the screen Firmino. That would be a bit of an upgrade. Um, but apart from that, like, same thing applies, mate. Team of the season is just around the corner, bro. Whether you get uh, a better centre-back, whether you get a better left-back, whether you get someone to replace Firmino, um, whether you get someone to replace Lozano, that's what I would hold on to, for sure. Um, the next team coming from Ben Stone, who says he plays a 4-2. Please, guys, if you play a different formation, please do what Bradders has done and send me a picture of uh, your second formation because it's just easy to visualize, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is team. He plays a 4-2-4 in a game, 100k, it, everyone's untradeable. So I'm guessing that means you've got 100k and everyone's untradeable. Um, hmm. I mean, it's pretty good for an untradeable team, to be fair. What would I do here? Um... With 100k, you, you can't upgrade a single player in this team. You you simply can't. It's a nice team, but you can't upgrade anyone at all. That, there's, there's not a single upgrade you can make with 100k there, unfortunately. Uh, next team coming from Isaac, who says I've got uh, 100,000 coins and everyone's untradeable. I play a 4 2 3 one in game. This man's got Prime R9. This guy has got Prime R9 untradeable. Oh, my word. Okay, well, like... You just really had to show me that, didn't you? Um, I think with this team, you want to work on this right centre-back spot. Try and get enough icon tokens to get yourself Maldini. It's definitely possible. Uh, and then get yourself that mid-Maldini as your right centre-back. And, and that will really strengthen the uh, the, the defence. Play a goalie off Kem. Big no-no. Um, and, and with Smalling, you've got Courtois, Smalling and um, Cunha off Kem. And it's like, no. Just no. Just get yourself Maldini. Get everyone on full chem. It works out really well. Uh, GG on the Prime R9, though. That's actually pretty mental. Um, that's absolutely insane. I wonder, do you get many messages from people saying, why have you got R9 and, and, and like, wasted, like, coins on, on him and nothing else in your squad? Because I remember back at the start of the game, I bought, I think it was... It might have been mid R9, and I had like a pretty bog standard team around him, and, and I got so many messages asking me why I put all my coins into mid R9, and none, none of my coins into the rest of my squad. I found it pretty funny anyway. Um, next team coming from Minnow, who has got 200,000 coins. Uh, Hazard, Testagen, Ian Rush, and Alaba are tradable. First pick's how I start, and the second's how I play in game. Uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Ooh, okay. Mate, Ian Rush. Wait, is he untradable? Hazard to Stegen and Rush are the trade. Okay, okay. All right, he's tradable. But I mean, like, still, that's very interesting. Um, what does this card look like, stats-wise? Ian Rush's 
moments card. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, like he has really good stats. To be fair, um, it's unfortunate because like like these kind of cards you don't really look at and think, oh, I want to use them. But this card looks incredible. 900k is a pretty fair price tag as well. Um, this card looks absolutely insane. Wow. Um, let me know how he plays for you in game. I don't rate your four one two one two though. As someone that uses four one two one two heavily, and and I you know I feel like I've mastered the four one two one two. Don't rate it. I don't have any ratings for this. First of all, Benega at centre back. No idea what you're doing there. Uh, you could go and get moments Puyol for seven tokens. That'd be better than that that Benega, mate. Um, you're playing two attacking centre mids. Uh, sorry, you're playing two attacking midfielders as centre mids. Uh, Kubo, who is very attacking. Uh, same with Odegaard, and they're both as your centre mids, and then only one CDM. You're going to be massively susceptible to counter-attacks. You're going to find you're going to absolutely leak goals. It's going to be really difficult for you to uh, to defend any kind of counter-attack, really. Um, but that was fantastic. Hazard's fantastic. Rodrigo seems pretty good. A lot of people rave about Rodrigo, so, you know, he's pretty decent. Um, yeah, I would say move Benega up to maybe your right centre mid spot instead of Odegaard. Get yourself long lay over run at centre-back, whichever one you prefer to look at. Um, and that already improves your team massively. And then, you know, you can you can work on the rest of the squad uh, in your own time. But, like, how how much pace has the Yene got? Oh, I thought he had more pace than that. Uh, let me, am I thinking of an older card? Maybe it's this card I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm thinking of his team in the season card back in the day. I thought he had, like, 90 pace. I was going to say you could swap uh, Ramos and... Uh, and Dieny and, and play Ramos as a centre back and Dieny as right back, but that doesn't really work. Um, so yeah, I probably keep the rest as is. But uh, but yeah, like like I said, like you need to work on the midfield and the defence here, bro. Um, I'm not entirely sure what what the thought process was with it, but that's fair enough if if you know if you're trying a few things that are that are pretty new, I guess. Next team come from Leo, who says, "Hey Haber, how are you? Uh, I'm doing good, mate. How are you doing?" He says, "I've got forty thousand coins at the club right now. Uh, plenty of rewards coming soon. Untradeables are Balak from the uh, swaps pack, Edison and SBC cards. I'm probably going to grind for Kaka from swaps. Keep it the good work. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate, it, dude. Well, GG on the Balak, bro. That's actually pretty nuts. Um, I like this a lot, actually. I, I do like this a lot. In fact, this is helpful. If you guys are going to send in a screenshot of like your formation via this tab, uh, the instructions tab works out really well because then you can see it on the left hand side and my face is on the right hand side. That's actually pretty dope. So thank you for that." Um, I like this team a lot. I like the setup of this team. I play. I would play personally Son at striker, Mane as central cam, and Sane as your right cam, and Dembele as your left cam. Uh, the reason that is because I feel like Son uh, is pretty clunky, and you don't want a clunky central cam. Uh, and I think that Sane and Dembele are both made for the wide cams as opposed to you know, Sane playing up striker. So I would say try that out and see how you like that. Uh, but the rest of this is actually pretty good. I like I like the team a lot. I think it's really good. And like, and like I said uh, before in the episode, you know, I think now we're just waiting on team of the season to see what you can improve here. Um, there should be some pretty good improvements to make during team of the season. So I would sort of just hold on to that, you know, wh whether we get like a, a Joe Gomez that you can replace with Shah, whether we get... I don't know, someone at right back from from uh, the La Liga that you can replace here as well. Um, maybe we get a Trippier and then you get Joe Gomez and Trippier and swap them over. Um, but team of the season is literally two days away. So hold on to it and we'll see what sort of happens. The next one's from Kian Mack who says 40k budget. Uh, all special cards are untradeable. Love the vids. Thanks, man. Uh, okay. Very interesting. I saw a couple of you guys commented saying Litmanen's incredible after last episode. Personally, I've never used Litmanen, and the, what I usually do with players when I say I don't like the look of them and stuff like that, uh, and apologies if you guys can hear a lot of people drive, there shouldn't even be people outside, let alone revving their cars up and down the road, but I mean, you know, what can you do with people anyway? Um, I look at this card and I think, agility's not bad, good with a chem style, balance is pretty poor, good finishing, good composure, like his shooting stats are really decent, uh, I just think that he doesn't look that quick. Doesn't look like he's got the best strength. Doesn't look like he's got the best uh, dribbling stats. Um, he's got pretty bad long passing as well. Um, like, obviously, I've never used the card. I just look for, you know, is he is he good for the meta? And I don't think he looks good for the meta. But if you guys have used him and you really like him, I do apologize. Like, you know, if you do like him, that's on you. And you, if you like him, then don't take my word for it. Carry on using the card if you enjoy him. Uh, that's just the way I sort of feel about it. Uh, this team is pretty well built though. Uh, it's pretty well uh, sort of laid out as well. Uh, this left mid spot could definitely do with being upgraded. Uh, whether we get someone during team of the season or not. Imagine we get like a left wing Rashford, bro. I'd love that. Um, obviously, that'd be very expensive though and you'd probably struggle to upgrade to that. But, um, you know, we could get a really decent cheap Brazilian 
that you could link up there uh, and play him on A Chemistry. Uh, you know, typically we get like Saudi League and CSL and Super League and stuff like that. Uh, we may get like a Brazilian from one of those leagues that that will fit straight into the squad, you know. So that's a pretty good shout. If, if you ask me, just what, wait for team of the season for that. Uh, the rest of the team solid though. I like the rest of the team. Uh, I'd say definitely next point of a grade is that Rashford at top. Um, but the rest of the team is uh, is really, really well built, mate. I like it a lot. Uh, the next... Okay, what? Uh, first of all, love your vids. Up United. I will have 150,000 coins once my players sell. The only tradables in the squad are Bernard and Ariola. Thanks and keep up the good work. This is faker than a $3 bill. Right, okay. And the team is absolutely tiny. And the, the bigger one is blurry. Well, I want to say broke Mexican... Thank you for this. I appreciate this. Uh, sadly, uh, we're going to keep to the how it was in the last episode where we're not going to look at the uh, smaller teams. But uh, much love and thank you for the support, bro. I appreciate it, dude. And definitely up the United. And again, like, like you can't screenshot a portrait photo and send it in, bro. Like, turn your phone landscape and then screenshot a Zuma. Um, let's see him coming from Daniel. 4 2 3 1 in game. Tradables are the goalkeeper, right back, and left back, and striker. Have about 50,000 coins. Ah. Huh. I like this link up on the right hand side. Obviously, you're playing Fred off Kem, but works. Um, what would I say with this team? I would say if you can sell Tellers and start chipping away. Like obviously, don't sell Tellers now, but start chipping away at the Alexandro SBC. In my opinion, Alexandro is, a, is an end game left back. Unless you get super unlucky and pack a left back out of a premium or like Tots upgrade or a guaranteed Tots pack or something after doing Alexandro, uh, like you're going to find it difficult to find a player better than Alexandro. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's going to be players, but, like, do you really want to spend a million coins liquid on a moment's Roberto Carlos kind of thing? So, I would say start chipping away at it with, with fodder. See if you can get there pretty easily. Uh, that is a definitely a good shout. I think there's a good Lataro Martinez card as well. You can work on upgrading to eventually, uh, and that would work pretty well as well. Um, but the rest of the team is nice. I like the rest of the team. Uh, that Prime Rykard is actually really good in game. Baby Rykard kind of sucks, but Prime Rykard... Really good card in game, so massive, uh, massive GGs on the team, man. Uh, and like maybe, maybe you work on icon swaps and get yourself middle Maldini for that left center back spot. That could be a good upgrade, but but yeah, I'd say uh, chip away at some SBCs, try and sort of grind the way to it with just fodder and stuff, and we'll see what happens. Uh, the next team coming from Jacob who says play 4 2 3 1 in game with Henri up top. Uh, this is my full first owner and have 300k, and I want to save for tots. Wait, uh, but I have 300k, but want to save for tots. Easy, safe for team of the season. GG's. Nice, 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 uh, nice first on a team, bro. But that you've made my life easy there, bro. Because just save for team of the season if you want to. You don't like if you want if, if you have an idea in your in your head of what you want to do with the squad. I would recommend just doing what you what the idea you have in your head. Um, what one thing I found is that sometimes if you have an idea in your head and someone tells you to do otherwise and what they tell you to do doesn't work, you tend to get angry at that person. I know because that's human nature. You know, I've, I've done it myself. Um, I would say do what you want to do first. And if it doesn't work, then come back, send in your, send in your team again. And uh, we'll have a look at it. And we'll uh, we'll tell you what I think and what to do. Um, all the team is untradeable. Willing to save up. Got 200k. So keep it the great work. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it, dude. Um, this is what you're playing in game. And this is how he starts, mate. This is SBC Central, bro. Is there an SBC that you didn't do? Nah, uh, GG's though. Like, I, I like the team, mate. It's colourful. It's nice. It's well built. Um, what would I say with this team? This is, again, like, I'm a broken record. I'm repeating myself all the time. But this is the same thing. Team of the season is right around the corner. Wait for team of the season and we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like a broken record. But that's definitely one thing. I mean, I'm trying to think of anything you can do with, like, Sane or, or uh, Bernardo. If there's a decent right winger here. From Portugal that you can go with there um, over Bergwin because I don't think Bergwin is going to be fantastic a striker. I mean, we can have a quick look at his stats. I've heard really bad things about this Bergwin card though, like really bad things. Um, 84 finishing and 83 composure as a striker doesn't work for me personally. I just don't think that's fantastic. Uh, but obviously, if you like him, that's on you. Um, I think you're better off playing Neymar as striker though. He's got way better finishing. Um, but yeah, I'd say wait for team of the season. Uh, I think. Upgrade points in this team is Bergwin. <laughs> Excuse me. Bergwin. Um, then maybe Bernardo Silva. For me, I don't know about you guys. I have this weird thing in my head that I feel like players decay in ability. I feel like um, slowly over the time, you get like a player like Bernardo Silva. First weekend league, he's insane. Second weekend league, he's, he's good. 
Third weekend league is, you know, he's decent. Fourth weekend league, it's like, all right, I'm kind of bored of this card. He's kind of not performing that well anymore. Do we get rid of him? Do we find a new player to play with? That's how I feel with players a lot. So with Bernardo Silva, I feel like he's decayed quite a lot and he's not as good as he used to be. Same with Sane, to be honest. So they could be definitely players you look to improve on with uh, with team of the season. Um, next team coming from Rido, who says Griezmann, Mahrez and Benyeda are tradable. A player 4 2 3 one brackets 2 in-game. Who should I buy slash save for? Love the vids. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, get rid of Griezmann straight away, bro. Griezmann has got to go. Um... Who do you replace with him though? That is the question. Uh, you can save up to save up to Mbappe is a good idea. Um, you know, he gets the strong link and stuff like that. That is definitely a good shout. Save up towards Mbappe. That could work pretty well. Um, hmm. Right center back spot. You can maybe go with the central Kyle Walker card. Um I think it'd be better than Sanchez. I think Sanchez is a little bit clunky. You can also wait for a team of the season and see what comes out. We could get a, a decent French player. We could get a team of the season Laporte for all we know, or like a flashback moments Laporte or something. So that would work perfectly in your squad. Um, so yeah, I'd say save up towards Mbappe and then for team of the season coming out, see what happens and see what we get to improve the rest of the squad. Uh, and the last team for this episode is going to come from Lucas, who says, all in tradable, just wondering if you think I should switch any players. Keep up the amazing work. Thanks, bro. I mean, keep up the good work. I just put amazing in there because I'm massively arrogant. Um, and of course, it's a smaller team again. Like Twitter, mate, get your stuff together. All right, we're going we're gonna to end it on uh, on James Edwards' team. He says, have no coins till Friday. Uh, till Friday, sub off Jesus for Mbappe. Everyone untradable except for Joe Gomez. Okay, wow. Prime Cruyff untradable. That is incredible, man. Like, the thing is, I've opened so many mid-icon packs that when I open a mid-icon pack and I get, like, for example, uh, a Pele, like, I'm happy, but I'm not shocked because I've opened so many. When you get one prime icon pack and in that one prime icon pack, you get a prime Cruyff, that must be the best feeling in the world because it's like you've grinded to get the prime icon pack, you get one shot and you get one of the top 10 players in the game. That must feel amazing. Well, GG's on that. That's incredible. What I would say with this team, right back, get yourself second in form, Wamba Saka. Um, or save up towards get yourself that, that shapeshifter Ricardo Pereira and put your Trent over at right back. That could work. Um, I would say you've got to work on the midfield as well. A little bit too attacking with, with Bruno and Fred. I would say like a Fabinho would work pretty well in the midfield to, to sort of, you know, make things a little bit more defensive. Or you can even save up and get yourself Kante. Um, but this team is nice, man. I mean, your look seems really good. You obviously you got Cruyff, you got Ake, who's pretty decent. Uh, I see Mbappe is probably untradeable. Um, Havertz as well, who might not be alone, might be alone, might not be alone. I don't know about that. Um, but I mean, GG's on the look, bro. And uh, mate, GG on that Cruyff, bro. That's what a way to end it. So if you have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Obviously, team of the season will be coming out on Friday. Um, by the way, if, if I'm slow at my words, I'm just so tired today. I don't know why. I just can't speak properly. Um, but yeah, Team of the Season should be coming out on Friday. And then we'll have amazing Team of the Season episodes of I Rate Your Teams as always. So thank you all for the epic support. Thank you all for all the love and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, we're closing in on 139,000 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. And I'm very grateful for that. And I'll see you later.